Hello, how would you guys like to double the amount of orders, reservations, and calls coming through your website for free by just making a couple of optimizations to it? My name is Jesse, and I'm the owner of Edge Media, and we build high converting websites that actually turn your web traffic visitors into loyal customers. So today I'm going to be giving you a free conversion optimization analysis in order to provide you some value and show you that I know what I'm doing. So if there is an opportunity for us to work in the future, I hope you contact me. But without further ado, I'm going to jump right into it, give you guys a ton of value and show you exactly what you can change on your website to make it convert better. So one of the first things I notice opening up your website is it doesn't feel like there is a nice clean um, above the fold or even a call to action. So traditionally on websites, you want to always have a hero with your main value proposition. Here, we're going to do this. I'm going to take a screenshot for you guys and let's check it out. So usually on your website, you're going to want to have one sec. Oops. Oh, please. <laughs> You're going to want to have a main value proposition as well as a hero. So typically you would take your, you would have your main value proposition. Well, first of all, this story section should be brought down to like all the way here. So then you'd have your hero from like here all the way to here. And then this would be like our story. So you just move this entire section down and then you would have your main value proposition a supporting statement and then you would have your main call to action and then a secondary call to action so for the main call to action we'll just color this in and then all of our secondary call to actions will be like this like that color kind of so reason main reason you want to do this is because you have about five seconds to make a lasting impression um, when someone visits your website before they bounce off of it. And I'm sure if you look at your stats, you probably have a bounce rate anywhere between 60 to 90%, I would guess. And the reason being is because your landing page or the, your homepage wasn't built to convert. Um, so a couple other things I would change too is like you don't actually have like a main call to action on your website. And as a owner of a website, the same way you own your restaurant, you control the experience when people walk through your doors into your restaurant. You control every step of that experience that you deliver to them. The same thing goes for your website too. If you don't focus on the experience of your website, then it's not going to convert. The same way if someone walks into a restaurant and they look around and that's when they decide, are we going to stay or are we going to leave, right? Exact same thing happens all the time, especially with cafes. So you want to have a main call to action. and if you, if your website, if you want it to convert reservations and cafe rentals, for instance, then let's make that the focus. And what I would do in your case, cause you have a nice black, white theme here is you could have a white button with a black outline. So this way it would kind of like blend in here. So a fully white button, cause it would stand out awesome here. And then you'd have black text that would say, um, cafe reservations. You can just do that. You can shorten that up a bit so this so you can get rid of that menu item, right? You can completely get rid of this, shorten it up a bit. And then typically what we would do is because people usually go into websites for uh, like restaurants, cafes for one or two things, right? So take your logo, move it over here, take your menu, move it over here right beside the logo. And then put a clickable phone number right here. And then might as well just have your hours right here. Boom, bam, bam, right? This way, all the information someone's looking for on a website is going to be right there. Um, what, I, what you can even do as well is you can have your email, a one-click email, so it opens up. Um, one-click phone number, so it goes right to their phone app. Hours. And then you can even put like an, your email address because you're going to have you're going to have a lot of room to do that, right? You have a lot of room in your header. That's what it's used for. So you might as well take advantage of it. Um, you can even put your email. I mean, what are you saying? Email, phone number, address right underneath it and have it all clickable. And then your hours here. And then you still have a lot of room in your header. You have your main value proposition You can have your supporting statement. And then you can have all the essential elements for a high converting homepage. 
And the reason being that we do that is because the, because of the psychology of how someone reads through a website. So when someone reads through a website, they're going to start at the top left as same with a book, go from left all the way to right. And this is where their eyes are going to be spending the most time. So we really want to sell um, this call to action that like the goal is for them to make a reservation. And then what's going to happen is their eyes are going to drift down and then go back across and then they'll start consuming the content like this. And then you can see the importance of having that call to action there twice, because now we've sold them on making a reservation twice. Okay. Um, and then typically I'd make this like a menu button, even though, oh yeah, you guys don't have one up there. So yeah, might as well have a menu button there. And it's all about like, the reason we're doing this is because the experience on your website is just supposed to be as easy, smooth, and seamless as possible. So I would make those key optimizations and I guarantee you would get double the amount of like conversions through your website, especially because when like a lot of time people aren't going to scroll all the way down here, go find something. So you might as well just have it right at the top header here. Nice and convenient. Someone's, someone lands there and that's what they see. That'd be awesome. Um, might as well get rid of this section if you guys aren't doing blog updates or if it's, if it's not working properly. Um, and I would definitely like keep adding to your gallery, especially if you like, if you have Instagram, like you might as well link up your Instagram. Oh no, maybe not. So definitely recommend, recommend having more atmospheric photos, but yeah, those are all the adjustments I would strongly recommend that you guys make. I guarantee you will double the amount of conversions and foot traffic coming in through your, through your website to your restaurant. Um, if you guys would like to set up a call afterwards, there's going to be a link at the end of this video. You just click it, it goes right to my calendar and we can do a free discovery call. And then if there's an opportunity for us to work together, awesome. If not, no worries. I hope you guys got a ton of value out of this and have a great day.